What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We have a new trailer for the new Tom Cruise film coming out very shortly called Top Gun Maverick. Finally, finally coming out May 27th. It's been delayed many, many times due to COVID and Cruise really, really being insistent, emphatic that this film shows in the theater properly and not like on a streaming service or something. You got to give him credit for that. He's one of the last uh, kind of true... Hollywood uh, stars who takes pride in having these like blockbuster films come out and doing them with real sets, uh, real locations, real stunts. And yeah, you got to give him his props for being dedicated, like breaking his ankle in the Mission Impossible movies, all the crazy stunts he's done on those movies. He's got two of those coming on the back burner right now. I think seven or six or seven is done like there's two there's two they're filming uh the sequel to the sequel <laughs> they're filming one right now and they, they've already wrapped on another one so good stuff uh i don't really know what to make of this but let's check it out anyways um i did watch the original recently and his character he's he needed to be humbled you know he does a lot of stupid shit at the beginning um but throughout the film he does gain some humility through some of his hardships and he eventually uh turns it around and becomes a better person for it so top gun maverick let's see he's a teacher now he's going to be the teaching the top gun uh school here we go in three two one do 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 damn see that looks like a real jet. I don't know how they've... What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Oh, whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? Everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they going to get to teach us? Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You are here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. Just want to manage the expectations. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. And we're off. Here we go. In three, two, one. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Someone's not coming back from this. Those are your pilots. Anything happens to them. Smoke in the air, smoke in the air. You'll never forgive yourself. No turning back now. Yet. Wow. All right. Um, so depending on how much they have in camera, I think that's definitely going to be something that's pretty exhilarating to see in the theaters with like really, really good quality movie sound and just that cinematic experience. So they got... Val Kilmer coming back. We didn't see him on camera. We just saw his, his picture there. So I guess Val Kilmer's character, you know, Iceman, brings back uh, Cruz's character to be a teacher in the Top Gun Academy. And yeah, some of those action set pieces look pretty pretty cool. Uh, that line is definitely going to be some... That line held some pretty good emotional weight when... I, I didn't know that it was like Goose's son in the film like in within the story itself so goose's son is in fact in the top gun program 
And uh, he said to, to Maverick, like, my father believed in you or something like that. Like, my father believed in you. I'm not going to make the same mistake because I did feel like I watched the movie a, a month or two ago, uh, the original. And while some sequences don't hold up, it, it's still a classic 80s movie. Uh, but yeah, it's basically Maverick's fault. Sort of like he did some stupid things, which needlessly either got them into trouble with their superiors or put them in just risky combat situations. And Goose, like Goose, like loved Maverick, but then he went he went along with it. But he he got kind of thrown under the bus a little bit until, and it's too bad it took him like dying for uh, Maverick to gain some humility a little bit and realize that as talented as he is, he has to be a a team player for them to win. And of course he's friends with Iceman at the end and yeah, it's pretty predictable. A little bit corny, but it stayed in the Zeitgeist uh for a long, long time. So that's why the sequel's coming out soon. Anyways, uh let me know what you think down below. Hit that like and comment for Mr. Rhythm, Mr. Algorithm. And we'll see you soon. Take care.